So the Pascock Valley really is a beautiful place to consider if you're thinking about a move here to Bergen County, New Jersey. But you know how sometimes you live in a place for a little while and there might be small little things that might annoy you? So today I'm giving you five reasons why you might get a little annoyed by living here in the Pascock Valley. They're not deal breakers, just small little observations. That's all coming up next. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Bob Jennis, a local realtor here in Bergen County, New Jersey. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel today. I really appreciate it. And if you're here watching today, you probably want to know some more information about real estate or any topics about Bergen County as well as Northern New Jersey. Well, you've come to the right place, so make sure you click that like button for me. But also consider subscribing because every week I have new videos about anything and everything Bergen County as well as Northern New Jersey. And don't forget to hit that little bell to get reminded of new videos that I post every week here. All right, so with all of that out of the way, today I want to talk about the Pascock Valley. And I have a couple of other videos that talk about the Pascock Valley, but it really is a beautiful area here in Bergen County, New Jersey. The Pascock Valley encompasses 10 towns here, and the southern part of the valley starts with Oradell. And as you make your way all the way up Kindercomac Road, you'll hit the border of New York and New Jersey. And the town right before you go into Rockland County of New York is Montvale, New Jersey. And then you've got Woodcliffe Lake, you also have Hillsdale and the Township of Washington. And those towns are a little bit west of Kindercomac Road, which is the main thoroughfare that goes through the valley. And then just to the east of Kindercomac Road, you've got Old Tapan as well as Rivervale. And then the remaining towns like Montvale, Park Ridge, Hillsdale, Westwood, Emerson, and then Oradell. So it's really a great area here in Bergen County, New Jersey. You're close to New York City, you're not far, very commutable, tons of amenities in many of the small towns here. Excellent schools as well. But like living anywhere, you start to pick up on things that might be slightly a little bit annoying. In no way are these deal breakers, just observations that I've noticed. And I also reached out to folks here in the Pascock Valley just to get their insights as well. There's a great Facebook group called We Live in Bergen County. And so what I did was I asked residents who live in the Pascock Valley, what are those small little things that you're just kind of like, eh, that's a little bit annoying. So I got some great insights from those folks as well. Again, in no way are these deal breakers, they're just observations. Because in all seriousness, this is a really great area of Bergen County if you are considering a move here. Okay, so these are five observations that just annoy people slightly, just a little bit, just a little tiny bit perhaps. So let's get right into it. Okay, so slight annoyance, observation, whatever we wanna call it, number one, is the train here in the Pascock Valley. One of the biggest selling features about living here in the Pascock Valley is that you've got a train line that's gonna take you right to Hoboken, or if you switch in Secaucus, it'll bring you right to Midtown Manhattan. So in all seriousness, it's really a great area to consider for a commuting standpoint into New York or Hoboken. But what can be a little frustrating for residents here is the fact that the train tracks are not raised. They don't go above traffic. In fact, they're at the actual road level itself. So if you were to follow the Pascock Valley line, which is part of New Jersey Transit, it starts at the top, it makes its way from Montvale all the way down through Oradell, and then you get into Hackensack and the Rutherford area and eventually to Secaucus. And since the train line is actually at the street level, you have gates that make their way down if the train is passing. So instead of having bridges and traffic can go under, the actual train line interrupts traffic basically. So just one observation that could be a tad annoying perhaps is just trying to cross those train tracks or just trying to get home when a train actually shows up at one of the stops in the Pascat Valley. So for instance, I live in Westwood and the train line goes directly through the center of town. And the center of town, which is already bustling, there's always so much activity there. When a train comes, it blocks and stops traffic. So depending on where you are in the line of traffic, the line of cars that are waiting for the train to pass, if you're far back on Washington Avenue, for instance, it could take you a couple of rounds before you can finally cross those train tracks. Especially after a long, hard day at work, you just want to get home and get to your mac and cheese, right? <laughs> when you see those flashing lights and you see the gates come down, you're like, oh, I just want to get home. I just want to get home. It's been a long day. And you might have to wait. But something that happened more recently, it was just an observation. I was actually out on a walk and there was a stop train on the tracks. And there was also an accident which caused all of the gates in many of the towns up and down the Pascock Valley for those train gates to come down. So people were actually stuck at intersections where the train gates were and couldn't bypass the area because people were behind them. 
In fact, it was like 45 minutes or so, the police had to come and fix the issue that was going on, but people were stuck there. You couldn't get past those train tracks. And if you've lived here a while, you can figure out ways to try to take some back streets to get around those issues. But sometimes you might have to go up to Hillsdale, like for instance, I live in Westwood. You might have to go up to Hillsdale or go down to Emerson and try to find a roundabout way. But if you're stuck in a line of cars, it's difficult to turn around sometimes. So it, it really can be just slightly annoying. So you can see situations like this where you might be stuck for a while just to cross those train tracks. You'll find it in Park Ridge, you'll find it in Montvale, all the way down through Oradell because again, the train tracks are at that street level. Okay, observation number two, the small annoyance number two, whatever we're calling it. There are some areas here in the Pascack Valley which have major bottlenecks. So what I mean by that is traffic bottlenecks. You're gonna find some on Kinderkamack Road and you'll find some at exit 168 as you're coming off the Garden State Parkway and you make a right to head toward Westwood and Township of Washington and Rivervale, you're gonna find some bottlenecks there. Especially at rush hour, there is an exit there and it really backs up far out into the Garden State Parkway. During rush hour, that really is a huge bottleneck area, especially when you get to the season's catering hall. Just a lot of volume of cars. It's kind of that one way to get into the Pascack Valley and everyone takes it because you're coming off the main thoroughfare, which is the Garden State Parkway. And there's other bottlenecks that you wanna consider, especially along Kinderkamack Road. And in some towns, as you're making your way along Kinderkamack, and let's say you wanna make a left turn, not every intersection has a left arrow. So if you have to cut across Kinderkamack and make your way to the left, that really can create some bottleneck situations. One spot famous for this is the Five Corners in Westwood. So the Five Corners is a major intersection here in Westwood, but if you're along Kinderkamack and you wanna make a left on your way down Westwood Avenue, you actually could be sitting there for a while because cars are coming north on Kinderkamack and there's no arrow there. You'll also find this in Emerson, you'll find this in Hillsdale as well, in certain spots along Kinderkamack. So left-handed arrows on major thoroughfares, I mean, that's probably for town councils to debate and go through. But what you see as folks are driving on Kinderkamack when you have a yellow light, they're zooming through the intersection, you're trying to make the left, and it's just, it's a little bit crazy. All right, so slight annoyance, slight observation number three is blue laws. So what the heck are blue laws? Well, I actually have a video where I talk about blue laws if you just click this link. But blue laws were instituted here in Bergen County. It's actually a county-wide law. They've been around since the 30s or 40s. And basically the law was created just to say that Sunday should be a day for family. It should be a, a day for religious purposes, perhaps. And instead of being able to shop for like, say clothing, for instance, all of the malls, all of the clothing shops, close here in Bergen County on a Sunday. But you can still grocery shop. So if you wanna go shopping, you're gonna to have to go north to Rockland County, or you're gonna to go to another county like Passaic or Hudson or Morris County. Those counties have normal Sunday shopping, but if you wanna to go to Target, you can't do it here in Bergen County. And that is true for the Pascack Valley because all of these towns sit in Bergen County. So it might be slightly annoying. You actually have to drive a little bit and head up to Rockland County and pay a little bit more in sales tax up there. Or you have to drive a few more miles to another county to maybe just get that gift at a mall if you're needing to shop. So tiny annoyance, small little annoyance, observation number four is cell phone dead spots. So unfortunately, and it doesn't really seem to matter with cell service provider, but you're gonna find some dead spots here in the Pascack Valley. Especially in the township of Washington, when you come off of exit 168 and you get to the Seasons catering area on Washington Avenue there at the main intersection, there's a huge dead spot there. So you might lose cell service, just kind of happens. But driving around the Pascack Valley, I've noticed some in Old Tapan, some in Rivervale. So don't be surprised if you're driving around the Pascack Valley and all of a sudden you lose your call or you just don't hear the individual you're speaking with because you might be in a dead zone. They're not everywhere and they are increasing some antennas here in this area. And the cell providers are touting 5G now, but that spot on Washington Avenue, right in the township of Washington, I still have a dead zone, even with 5G. Okay, the final observation, the final small little annoyance, annoyance number five, let's call it, is the actual distance to a main highway here in the Pascot Valley. So at the very beginning of this video, I talked about Kinderkamack Road kind of going up the center of the valley. And to the west of Kinderkamack, you've got the Township of Washington, you have Montvale, you have Woodcliffe Lake, as well as Hillsdale. 
And those towns are actually pretty close to the Garden State Parkway. It's easier to access the Garden State Parkway from those towns. If you're at Oradell, Emerson, parts of Hillsdale, Westwood, Park Ridge, as well as Montvale, it's a little bit longer to get you to that Garden State Parkway, which is a main thoroughfare through New Jersey. But for towns that are just west of Kinderkamac, so you've got Old Tapan, you have Rivervale, parts of Westwood as well, parts of Emerson, parts of Hillsdale, they also go west of Kinderkamac. It really can take you 10 to 15 minutes just to get you to the Garden State Parkway. You gotta consider you've got traffic lights and you might have the train that might stop you. So it's not an easy hop, skip, and a jump to get you right to the Garden State Parkway. It's gonna take you a little while to get you through those parts of the valley so that you can actually reach the parkway. So you've really gotta buffer in some extra time just in case because it might take you some time. The other option is if, let's say you're going to New York City and you don't need to go to Midtown, maybe you just have to cut through, let's say to the George Washington Bridge and make your way up 95, for instance. You are close to 9W, which is on the very eastern part of Bergen County. That's also gonna take you north and south, and that's gonna actually get you to the George Washington Bridge rather quickly, but you have to take some back roads through Alpine, through Closter, to get you to that area as well. So it might be a little bit difficult to get you to some of those major thoroughfares, right? Major highways so that you can access other highways to get you to other parts of New Jersey or wherever you're going. Could be slightly annoying, who knows, but buffer in the extra time and you'll get there no problem. All right, so there you go. Five small annoyances, small, whatever we wanna call them, observations, let's say. Again, they're not deal breakers, but me living here for 15 years, other folks who've lived here for a while, just things that we have all noticed living in the Pascack Valley. So many selling points about the Pascack Valley with its commuting options, schools, amenities, great neighborhood feels in many of the towns. But as you know, you live in an area for a little while, you might get a little bit annoyed with certain things that you observe. So if you live in the Pascack Valley, I'd love to get your opinion. Just go ahead and leave a comment below. What have you observed? Anything that you're kind of like, oh, that's a little bit annoying. But like I said, I love living here as well as so many other people and it really could be a great area for you to consider if you're thinking about a move to Bergen County, New Jersey. And speaking of which, if you ever have questions whatsoever, my information is below. There's my email and cell phone. Go ahead and reach out anytime, send a text, give me a call, or shoot me an email. I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have about the Pascock Valley, Bergen County, or Northern New Jersey. So again, I'm Bob Jenis with eXp Realty here in Bergen County, New Jersey, and I wanna thank you so much for watching today. And don't forget, if you wanna learn more about Bergen County and Northern New Jersey, go ahead and click that subscribe button, click the like button, and also click the bell to be reminded of new videos that I post here every Friday. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next week with my next video.